Hey guys, welcome back to Council Minds the Bull with Candy. So we're gonna get started with another video today. This video is gonna be about histronic, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, histronic personality disorder. Um, I'm opening my handy dandy binder. Anyway, guys, so welcome. If you're new, go ahead and um oh well, so what we do is a check-in. So the check-in is basically what is your mood for today? As long as it's appropriate, as long as it's positive, you can put it below in the comments. Um, as well as for me, I usually do dance moves. So I'll show you my dance move. But let me get to this page in my handy dandy binder. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so my dance move for today, um, like I found all of them pretty much, on Instagram Reels, it's gonna be. <laughs> I can't do it sitting down. <laughs> but anyway, that's my dance move. Um, I'm really kind of anxious today, guys. Just all honesty. <laughs> so I'll be working through my anxiousness today. Um, so right, jumping right to the movies. I mean, to the point of the video. So histrionic personality disorder. So it's classified as a mood disorder and it's under cluster b okay um so it is some of the description include dramatic personality disorder um individuals experience intense unstable emotions and distorted self images um their self-esteem depends on approval of others and does not rise from the true feeling of self-worth um there's feelings of being overwhelmed, having an overwhelmed desire to be noticed, and their behavior um, is dramatically or inappropriately to get attention. And then this is also more common in women than in men. And this is usually seen by adolescents or early adulthood. All right, so it says that individuals with histrionic personality disorder have good social skills. Um, however, they use those skills to manipulate others to giving them the center of attention. Um, so going on, some is also described as being uncomfortable unless they are the center of attention. Um, Possibly dressing provocatively and exhibit inappropriate, seductive, or flirtatious behavior. Um, also stated to shift emotions rapidly. To act very dramatically as though they're performing in front of an audience with exaggerated emotions and expression, expressions yet appears to lack sensitivity. Um, constantly seeking reassurance and approval. Being excessive excessively sensitive to criticism or disapproval, have low tolerance for frustration in being easily bored by routine without finishing routine or um, skipping to one routine or another. Um, not taking, not thinking before acting, making rash decisions, being self-centered and rarely showing concern for others. I'm happy have difficulty maintaining relationships and then possibly threatening or attempting the S word. <laughs> I don't want to say, you know, YouTube is so strict about everything um, or attempting the S word to get attention. So that is some of the symptoms that was described. What I wanted to do, I wanted to get my um, DSM-5 because I got this from WebMD. But I want to get my DSM-5 actually to see how much in these categories um, would take to diagnose this disorder. I would get up now, but I'm not. I'll just probably put it in the comments. So as far as treatment, um, psychotherapy. So that is um, a form of counseling or where is self-talk self-talk being used oh i didn't write down the goal hmm okay and then also medication so medication can be used 
or some of the symptoms. So when we're looking at maybe um, having difficulty maintaining relationships, when we're looking at um, not having concerns regarding others, where it says rarely, when we're looking at having to be this center of attention, being manipulative, things of that nature, you can see how this person can become isolated possibly, right? Um, and then as well as anxiety. Um, so medication, medications can be given for the anxiety and possible depression. Um, not to say everybody will um, have depression or anxiety with this disorder. However, this is just um, two things that's associated with it. Um, yeah, let me get through that very quickly, guys, really. So I'm just going to read just the general of uh, some other treatments for mood disorders. Oh, okay. So general, um, CBT kind of behavior therapy, um, you know, you're altering your thoughts and behaviors, um, replacing the unhealthy with healthy, um, as I said, interpersonal, um, you want to educate about the disorder and you want to prevent relapse. So as far as educating about the disorder, so it stated while reading WebMD, it stated that the individual may not feel like they have um, a problem or they have this disorder, right? Um, a lot of things are characteristics that we all have, like um, maybe... Um, being manipulative sometimes or maybe um, you know wanting that attention um, sometimes you know it's just different things that can be like everyday things that people go through however this is a stepfather I like to say um, when describing these disorders right because with disorders it has to come with impairments so it's I believe it's stated impairments would be like in relationships at work um socially so you have to have these different impairments for it to be a disorder right so it has to be like an interference with your everyday life um yeah all right 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 so we do so that's the intervention so the emphasis on general mood disorders is to emphasize on cognitions and behavior um, initially using directive, so um, telling the individual what to do, um, not in like everyday life, but you know, just giving them like homework and stuff like that, um, and supportive emphasis, and then later on using less of that um, directive um, assignments and um, tips and things of that nature, and letting them have a more exploratory emphasis. So it'd be like more their responsibility in their treatment. Um, so also individual, individual therapy, family therapy, and group therapy would be useful um, as far as the timing of treatment. It can be three to six months at a moderate pace, one to two sessions per week. And then, um, like I mentioned about the homework, so you can use like homework assignments, um, increased activity. Um, you can do career counseling as a referral. You can uh, develop some of the social and coping skills needed. Um, so working on it, having to be manipulative <laughs> with your social skills to get the attention that you seek. Um, yeah, and support groups. You know, support groups are always great to just to show that you are not alone, right? There's other people who have the same symptoms or um, situations that you can use um, for support and you can learn from. So, as far as mood disorders, as far as the outcome of treatment, it's good for recovery from each episode. It's fair from completely disappearing and... Um, Behaviors may reoccur, and that's common. But like I said, everything is always individualized. Um, each person is different on how they handle things. Each person is different with the symptoms that they exhibit, right? So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put in the um, comment 
um, area, how many of these criteria is needed for this diagnosis. Okay, guys, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for your support this far. Put your comments below. Let me know how your mood is going. Um, happy Sunday. I'll see you next time.